So there's things that you should take before surgery and there's things that you should take after surgery. But probably more importantly, there are things that you should not take before surgery or after surgery. And I've got a few of the items here. So before surgery, you're going to want to take your iron, your vitamin C, your folic acid. Those are the only supplements that I recommend. They build up your hemoglobin and everyone should take those. The further you can take them ahead of your surgery, the better. So if you know you're having surgery six months from now, then start taking those supplements. It takes a long time to build up your hemoglobin and your iron stores. Now, what you should not use or take after surgery is this waist trainer. Waist trainers, number one, they do not work. You cannot compress the waist and train it so that it becomes smaller. All that a waist trainer does is squish like a tube of toothpaste and then once you take the waist trainer off, it just comes back. So you cannot train your waist. If you use this over a faja to get more compression, you can have problems and I've seen fairly extensive liposuction burns of the skin in patients that use too much compression. So too much compression could be a bad thing. I'm not a fan of the waist trainers. I don't suggest you use them. Now, other things that you should not take, pineapple juice. Pineapple juice is recommended by a lot of people for recovery after liposuction. I don't think it works at all. There's no data to support using pineapple juice. And the worst thing about it is really what's written on the back in that there's 34 grams of carbohydrates here. So having increased sugars and elevated sugars after surgery, particularly if you're borderline or you have diabetes, this can lead to infection. So I'm not a fan of doing any of the uh, pineapple juice postoperatively. This, if you want to use it, I think that's okay, but I don't think it works. There's no data to support that this works and there's been trials and studies done to actually show that it doesn't work. So I think save your money, don't, don't use an Arica gel. Supplements that I mentioned before surgery are useful, the iron, the vitamin C, the folic acid. Other supplements that, that are uh, supposed to be help healing and those types of things, you're better off just to eat a balanced diet with good, clean nutrition, not processed food. After surgery, eat a normal amount of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. That's your best way to get all of your nutrients. It's way better to get a vitamin through normal food rather than taking it through a supplement. Long-term vitamin supplements have actually been shown to be worse for you than eating just regular food. So I'm not a big fan of taking any supplements. And you have to realize that there is a lot of marketing in the health industry, specifically in plastic surgery, and products that are gonna help you heal faster, better, all these types of things. There are no products out there now that you need to be taking after surgery to help you heal faster. I recommend you continue with the iron, the folate, and vitamin C to help build your hemoglobin because you're gonna go through a decrease in hemoglobin with your surgery. So those are the only supplements that you should be taking.